Alrighty folk, this video here is just all about how to trim down or turn down the diameter of a, uh, of a section of steel. So that when we're making the brass nuts, as you can see on the plan that you've got here, currently the steel is 20 millimeters in diameter and we need to turn a whole length of that or as much of that as we can down to 18 millimeters in diameter. Every time you do some turning on the lathe, you want to make sure that you adjust the angle of the cutting tool to the process. You can see here that the tool is not quite parallel with the work that is being turned. So you're going to need to undo the nut to adjust that angle. With the nut adjusted, you can then adjust the angle of the whole turning post that's holding the cutting tool and either move it one way or the other. For turning the diameter down, you want it to be dead parallel. So you should not be able to see any light coming through between the cutting tool and the work that's being turned. Now that you've got it to the right angle, you can adjust the nut and tighten it up at the angle that you've got. So that way the tool post won't move as you're cutting. So, now that that there is locked in place, and lower the guard down, bring it back, and we can start doing our first cut. You can see that I stopped a little bit of a distance away from the teeth there, right? You want to be able to get in nice and close, but you don't want it so that you can get the most out of all this entire section, but you don't want to be able to go all the way and touch the teeth with the cutting tool. So I'm just going to measure that with the calipers, and I can see now that I've gone down to just 19.4, and I need to get a little bit closer than that. So what if, if I set my calipers to 18 millimeters, I now know that this here is 18 millimeters and it doesn't fit. And we're just gonna use, start using our calipers like a year nah gauge. Check that again, see how that works. It's not quite there. If I put it over the end, I can tell that there's just a little bit more to go. So from now, I want to make sure that I'm getting a nice, smooth fit. So one of the things that we can do to make it easier to cut is that when we're cutting it, instead of going like that and using one hand, what we can do is we can use two hands to cut it and go what's called hand over hand. And that makes it easy to be able to get a smoother motion and then you don't end up getting ridges in your cut work like that. Okay, so when you go hand over hand, you can get a much tidier cut. You can see the difference here. So this section up the top there is where it's been cut with one hand, just going in circles, and this section here is where it's been cut hand over hand, so it's nice and smooth. All right, and that there is how to trim the diameter down to the correct size or the intended size that you want. We've got our main uh, stock size there, and this here is our intended finish size for our main uh, section of the brass nuts at 18 millimeters in diameter. So just to go over some of the main points of this video, for the setup, for doing this, you need to be setting the cutting tool to parallel. And for the main thing to know about the process is that you want to use a hand-over-hand -hand technique when you're trimming the diameter down to size. 